Hello and welcome to Testing Shastra. This is Abhinash and in this video we are going to discuss about installation of TestNG. So to install TestNG in our um, Java project we need two, two things. First one is the jar file of TestNG and second one is the plugin of TestNG for Eclipse editor. So let us see that how we can download the TestNG jar file. So simply go to your browser and traverse to the mavenrepository.com okay mvnrepository.com and once you reach on this website this is the, this is actually a free website where you can see find any kind of jar over here so I am going to find a testng jar so I'll simply type testng and search it so you will see this first option over here click on it and it will land us on this page where we have list of different versions of the testng library available so what is testng testng is a simply jar file or a library file which is freely available it is open source and you can use it with java uh, but take care that you cannot use it with python or maybe c sharp for c sharp you need you require an unit whereas for python we have some different library so here we are going to download uh, the version which is more suitable to us so make sure that you are not downloading a beta version because it is still under development okay so you may face any issues with this kind of libraries uh, of the beta version so i'll select uh, 6.14.3 version of the test ng uh, why because it is having more usage over here so i'll simply click on this version name and i will see different options over here so if you are working with maven you need to simply copy this dependency and paste it in your form.xml file but if you want to directly download the testng jar file then obviously you can select this option over here so if you click on this option the jar file will start downloading the first part is downloading of the jar file that we are done with the second point comes with comes is the eclipse plugin that we require so what is mean by eclipse plugin uh, for testng okay so let's take an example that if you if we want to convert our simple java project into a testng project in that case we should see this option in the eclipse that is testng and if you hover on it then we'll see two options create testng class and convert to testng so we need to convert our project into the testng so this kind of option can only be seen if your eclipse browse eclipse editor is having testng plugin installed so for that we need to install the plugin let us see how we can install the plugin so simply click on help and go to eclipse marketplace once eclipse marketplace is opened you can find the test ng you can type the test ng over here and simply you can find test ng and then enter and you can see this test ng for eclipse plugin over here so as I already have installed this plugin that is why I'm seeing this button otherwise you can see this button this kind of button over here so simply click on install and it will start installing the testng plugin so once you are done with the in plugin installation you are done after that you need to click on uh, you need to simply create a Java project so let's create a Java project let's give some name that's it and after creating a java project simply right click on it and click on properties now what for are we doing so we are connecting testng with our java project so we are configuring our java project to use the annotations classes or methods of the testng so simply i'll go to the java build path and select libraries tab and then click on add external jars once I have clicked on add external jars, I can see the downloaded testng jar file over here. So search for the testng.jar file that we have recently downloaded. Here is the file and click on open, apply and close and that's it. Here in the project, if, if you expand this project, you can see reference libraries. Under reference libraries, we can see the jar file that we have recently configured with our java project so this is how we can configure our java project to use testng so that's it guys and after this we are going to right click on our project and testng and convert to testng 
So when dialog box will, when pop up will open, when window will open, and in this window we can see that testng is creating a testng.xml file automatically, and the structure of this file is been automatically designed by the testng. So right now we are not going to touch this part, and we will click finish. So we'll see in coming future that how we can write our own testng.xml file. So that's it, guys. Your project is configured to use testng, and your Eclipse editor. is configured to having options uh, to convert normal project to the testng project using the testng plugin so that's it and thank you so if you miss any step i have written these steps over here you can take a screenshot or maybe you can save them thank you guys